Why so many races on earth? You could argue, why so many types of dogs? Why is there many types of fish? Or even just say, why do we have types of elephants? African bush elephant, Loxodonta africana. Found in various habitats across sub-Saharan Africa, including savannas, forests and deserts. African forest elephant, Loxodonta cyclotis. Also found in sub-Saharan Africa, primarily in forested regions of West and Central Africa. It is smaller and more elusive than the African bush elephant. Asian elephant, Elephas maximus. Found in fragmented habitats across various countries in South and Southeast Asia, including India, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Myanmar and Sumatra. The simple answer would be their ancestor migrated and, over time, they evolved in different countries. Could that be the same for us humans? Did the white people and Chinese all start from one ancestor? Mainstream will tell you this. This is mainstream version of why there are different races. However, as you watch on, you'll see simple logic destroys this. One key factor contributing to the diversity of human populations across the globe is human migration and settlement patterns over thousands of years. Different regions of the world have been inhabited by distinct human populations, leading to the development of unique physical characteristics, languages, cultures and customs. Geographical isolation and environmental factors also played a role in shaping human populations over time. For example, Populations living in colder climates may have developed adaptations to withstand cold temperatures, such as lighter skin to absorb more sunlight and produce vitamin D. Additionally, historical events such as colonisation, imperialism, slavery and forced migration have further contributed to the mixing and differentiation of human populations. What a pile of rubbish. That was Mainstream's explanation of why there are different races. Why doesn't anyone challenge that? Has no one thought about this logically? Well, now you will have your answer. There is a huge problem here. Homo sapiens appeared 300,000 years ago. This means unless all the different races were created at the same time, such as Asian, white, Indian, etc., and then they all went to different lands, this doesn't seem right because archaeologists have traced migration patterns. The oldest Homo sapien fossils found outside of Africa are from the Levant region of the Middle East, specifically from sites in modern-day Israel and neighbouring areas. One of the most significant findings is the skull and kafse hominins, which date back to around 120,000 to 90,000 years ago. This means Homo sapiens would have either all been created with different races in Africa 300,000 years ago, or there was one type, such as black people in Africa, and they migrated around 120,000 to 90,000 years ago, and they then changed features and eye shapes, etc., within that time frame as evolution. That doesn't work for me. Remember, mainstream said the races are part of geographical isolation and environmental factors. If this is real, then we couldn't have had all the races start in South Africa because they would all be the same as they wouldn't have had geographical isolation and environmental factors. The only other logical way is that there were many types of hominid early humans and when Homo sapiens did migrate, they bred with the different types of hominids in each country. Can we prove that, for example, China didn't have any Homo sapiens before the Homo sapiens migrated? One of the oldest Homo sapiens skeletons found in China is the Liu Jiang fossil, also known as the Liu Jiang skull. This fossil consists of a partial skull.